So what exactly are probiotics? Should you be taking it to boost your gut health? If yes, when? We're gonna cover all of this in today's video. So if you are excited to get into this with me, make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe and hit the notification bell just to make sure you stay updated on whenever I post a new video. And if the two of us haven't met before, my name is Anna. I'm a holistic health and uh, nutrition coach. And uh, what I do is that I help people heal their gut to be free of digestive distress, fat uh, fatigue, anxiety, and instead feel more light, free, and vibrant in their bodies. And if you want some more information on that, I am gonna share a link in the description below. So what exactly are probiotics? So probiotics, simply put, they are living gut bacteria that are known for giving us humans a health benefit. So very similar to the healthy gut bacteria that we already have in our gut. So what kind of health benefits am I talking about? There are plenty, but just to give you a few examples. So, you know, improving your digestive health, making sure your immune system is working properly, and making sure that your skin stays healthy, boosting your energy, you know, you name it. Uh, but overall, just making sure that you feel, you know, energized, that you feel light, free, and vibrant in your body. So one of the most common questions I get is, should I take a probiotic supplement? And first of all, I do want to say that there is, first of all, there's no magic food, but especially there is no magic pill that is going to fix all of your gut issues. You know, if, uh, if you don't look after what kind of food you're putting into your body, you know, what lifestyle you're having, your mental health, a pill is not going to solve everything. It's not going to do the, the full trick for you. So does that mean that you shouldn't take it? Definitely not, but there are a few other factors to take into consideration uh, apart from it not being a magic pill. So first of all, how does a probio probiotic actually work? So as I mentioned earlier, you kind of view them where they're very similar to the healthy gut bacteria that, that you already have in your gut. But there is an exception. So they, a probiotic actually doesn't stay in your gut. They actually leave the body within just a, a couple or, or a few days. So with that say, said, they don't actually grow your healthy gut bacteria per se, but they can kind of come in and be a, kind of like a helping hand. So this is one of the reasons why a pill is not magically going to fix all of your gut issues. So it's important that you're still looking after the, the food you put into your body, um, your sleep, your exercise, your mental health and well-being. So these are really the things to, to prioritize first and then and a probiotic supplement can be viewed as a, again, as a helping hand or a, a booster, especially if you are dealing with, uh, with digestive distress. But, and yes, there is a but here. <laughs> Even if a probiotic supplement can be amazing as a helping hand to boost your gut health, it's actually impossible to know what kind of probiotic supplement works for you and your gut. Your gut is unique to, to you. So the composition of the you know, bacteria, viruses, yeast, and so on is completely unique to you. And since we don't, at least yet, have customized probiotic supplements, you can never really know which one will actually work for you. So it's very much a trial and error approach. So even if you buy, you know, the most expensive or well-known brand on on the market, it might actually not work for you. And I always say that, you know, if you don't feel any kind of change or improvement after, you know, four to, to six weeks, then it's better to skip it or, you know, try uh, another uh, kind of probiotic supplement in, in that case. So this is also where you kind of need to weigh in the cost versus 
benefit and that is really an individual decision but um, a good brand can cost around 40 to 50 dollars for I don't know maybe two months of, of a supply um, so so again that's really an individual decision but Again, food and lifestyle should really be the number one uh, priority. And even apples have probiotics in them, so that could be an even better place to, to start in, in that case. But if you do want to try a probiotic supplement, I do have a few tips for you and things to take into consideration to at least increase the potential of it having a, a benefit for you. So the first uh, thing is to uh, make sure that it's uh, it's vegan and the main reason for that is because uh, there are probiotic supplements um, that actually have dairy in them and dairy is not good for gut health so that just doesn't really make any sense <laughs> so that's just it's good if you can find a, a vegan one uh, i would definitely recommend that uh, another thing is to make sure that it's a multi-strain uh, probiotic and um, also making sure that, I mean, the more um, bacteria that the probiotic has, the, the, be the better. So a good guideline could be to uh, take a probiotic that has anything from, let's say, 30 to 50 billion uh, bacteria in it. And finally, for best quality, it's best to choose one uh, that doesn't require being in the fridge. And now something you might be wondering is, okay, so what about fermented foods? And that's a really great question. So fermented foods are everything from miso, uh, kimchi, kombucha, sauerkraut. So uh, fermented foods, they also have live bacteria, but just a lot less than a probiotic supplement would, would have. So with that said, fermented foods are great as, as part of your overall diet, to support your, your gut health and, and having a healthy gut. But if you are looking to, you know, kind of fix specific gut health issues, um, then it's probably better to, to try a probiotic supplement for, for that. And there are also different kinds of, of probiotic supplements and different kinds of strains for um, specific issues that you might be struggling with. All right, so just to quickly summarize. So probiotics are good stuff, but the, the challenging aspect is to actually find one that, that works for your individual gut. And another thing is also to remember that a probiotic supplement is not a magic pill, it's not a magic solution, it's not going to fix all of your gut health issues unless you also focus on the food that you put in your body, um, the lifestyle that you're having, so really also focusing on taking taking care of, um, of yourself as well in, in those aspects. And then there is really the uh, cost versus benefit situation, which is really an individual situation. But is it worth it? Is it worth taking a probiotic supplement to, to boost your gut health? I would say that if you are struggling with digestive distress, it could be a really good, again, helping hand and be used as a to give you a bit of an extra boost while you are healing your gut. Uh, but again, keep in mind that you also need to focus on the food and your lifestyle as well. And I also wanted to mention that most importantly, when it comes to, you know, gut health and, you know, when you're having a lot of digestive distress, to really get to the underlying problem of it. That's really the place to start and knowing from there how you know what kind of changes that you need to make and to to focus on to to heal your gut all right and if you want even more gut health goodness i have a free guide for you with three natural remedies for improving your gut health so definitely make sure to grab that i'm gonna leave the link to it in the description below and 
And if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, uh, make sure to, uh, to give it a like and uh, also uh, subscribe. And I would also really love to hear from you. So let me know in the comments below if you are taking a probiotic supplement, if it's something that you are thinking about. So again, let me know in the comments uh, below. And with that said, thanks so much for being here and uh, see you next time.